Hello Mayhem Makers, I'm Mindy with Quilting Mayhem and welcome to week two of my August mystery. This is going to be a fairly simple step this week. We're only going to be working on half a block so you don't even get to see what the full block looks like yet. You're going to need to make 15 blocks total and you will need for each block uh, four of the backgrounds and eight coordinating two and a half inch squares. So uh, these are four and a half inches, two and a half, eight of these. And so just make sure you're pairing them up and you're going to need 15 sets like this um, for this part of the quilt. I'm going to change our camera view real quick and we'll show you how to actually put this section together. All right, so take those background squares, set them aside, and these are not any of the ones that I told you you could fussy cut. So don't go getting all excited and trying to use those squares. Of the two and a half inch of your print squares, you're going to, on whatever is your wrong side of fabric, I'm using Kona, so it doesn't really matter, uh, draw a diagonal line with friction pen or whatever marking tool you have on all eight of them. So just start marking them to get ready to put onto your background squares. So like I said, this one's gonna be pretty easy, quick to do. Uh, and soon enough, you'll be bugging me for the next step. But don't worry, next week has a lot more going on to keep you busy. So this is kind of your time to catch up. So what you'll start with is for each of your background, place one square with your diagonal going the correct way on the right hand side. And you're gonna sew straight on that line Trim it, cut it, press it, and then get ready to put the left side on. So I'm going to take these four to my machine and I will be right back. All right, so I've done four of them with the right hand side. All you need to do next is then take your remaining four squares and place them on the left hand side and do the same step. You're going to sew on the line trim it, compress it, and you'll be ready to go. That's all you're doing this week, fairly simple. Uh, keep in mind you had 13 prints and you're going to need 15 blocks. So pick out two extra of your fabrics in your prints that you will want to kind of feature or maybe you like the most. I would recommend using those two as your additional to make your 15. But once you do this step, it's magically gonna look like this. I love quilt magic. Makes it so easy. So, 15 sets that look like this, 15 different colors, but make sure these points all match. Unless you're feeling super scrappy and then change them all up. And that's on you, go for it, go scrappy. Uh, but if you're a little more OCD like I am, uh, keep them all the same. So eight of the same color, per four set of background is what you'll need times the 15. So this is all you need to get done and then be ready for next week when we start putting this block actually all the way together. Until then, happy stitching.